A head halter is an effective tool for helping to stop a dog from pulling on a lead. A classic style head halter that connects underneath the jaw has been around for years. Black Dog designed a new head halter. We call it a halter mate, figure eight halter, and it connects at the back of the dog's neck. It's simpler to fit. It doesn't matter which way around you put it on the dog, but the nose band is a figure eight that wraps around the dog's nose. It's connected to a collar strap, which is a flat collar, which sits snugly on the dog's neck. There is a martingale loop on the back of the collar and that works the nose band. To fit, clip the collar on, take the nose band and wrap it underneath the dog's jaw, over the top of the dog's nose and back under the jaw and then reconnect it to the nose band with that clip. That means action from the martingale loop here pulls on these cords either side, crosses over directly underneath the dog's neck and puts pressure across the bridge of the nose. So this action here is transferred to the bridge of the dog's nose. Dogs find this much more comfortable because there's no weight from the snap hook hanging around underneath the jaw. The snap hook on the lead fits on the back of the dog's neck where a dog is used to the lead flopping around. Pressure from here transfers across to pressure across the bridge of the nose. There are two rings on the back. One is on the martingale loop and one is on the flat collar. You can connect your lead to the flat collar and it gets a little bit of nose action on the dog. If you have a dog who is reacting to the pressure from the nose from here, you can connect onto the collar strap and so you're reducing the amount of pressure across the nose and so for those dogs who are quite reactive to pressure across the nose you can use the collar strap and just put a tiny bit of pressure across the nose here. To adjust the nose band you adjust it in two positions. There's a connector here and a connector here. You, we give you two connections so that you can make sure that neither of them are sitting up here close to the dog's eyes. You adjust the length of the nose band so that when you clip it into the loop, when you pull the loop there is around about five centimetres between the ring and the, the buckle. With five centimetres when you're actually pulling you're putting a little bit of pressure across the dog's nose and the dog should respond to that. The easiest way of getting five centimetres is actually put three fingers between those two, the buckle and the ring, and pull, and that should just touch the outside of your three fingers when it starts to get tight. You don't have to have the nose band that tight. You could loosen it off, which means that the ring and the buckle will come much closer together. As long as your dog responds to the head halter, there's not a problem. You can adjust the strength of the head halter to suit the personality of your dog. If you were going to train the dog off the use of the head halter, instead of working on this ring, you would connect it to the dog's flat collar on the halter mate. And so you can gradually get the dog used to the idea of less pressure across the nose. You can then also lengthen the nose band so there's even less pressure on the nose. So you can gradually train the dog off the use of the head halter. Black Dog's Halter Mate, simple to fit, comfortable for the dog, very effective for the dog.